one of the main reasons why I'm really loving this setup. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. You can see that I am in a different setting because um, if you watched the last video, you know that I had to clear out my home of 15 years really quickly for renovations. The circumstances and everything behind that, you'll find it in the previous video linked right here. But we are moved into the new place, but you can see behind me my sewing room is not in such good shape. So I'm going to set it up and I thought this would be a good video because any of you guys who are in apartments, I wanted to show you um, just how I use an apartment space and I'll show you like how I'm moving things around to make it suit my family of four. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this thing set up so we can get back to upcycling. All right, ooh baby just hold tight. We're up the moonlight, believe in the magic. On sight, we'll make it feel just right. Just look at that bright light, believe in the magic. And we can save you from your past. This bond is always gonna last. When nothing else makes sense, just dance. What you gonna do? finished setting it up that did take probably about a day and a half to do but I have to say that I actually like this setup it's very hollow but I actually like this setup more than the one at home so when I get back home I'm gonna have to try to figure out a different configuration and I'll tell you why I like it better at the end but let me show you around and let me show you how I made the most of this rental space all right so let's talk about the main sewing table first of all let me show you the sewing machines that I did bring over I brought of course the brother 1034d um, which is my serger I did a whole video comparing sergers this is my favorite of all the sergers that I compared and of course I brought it with me and a sewing machine that you guys have never seen before from this video you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous and yes I will be reviewing it for you it is the Burnett B77 it has a long bed a long throat over here and yes it has so many features. It's my first computerized sewing machine, yeah. And of course, I brought the sale right. Couldn't leave the sale right behind because the lady said anything that you value, you might want to take it with you. So I brought what I value. So let's talk about the furniture that I brought over. I did bring one of my tables. These tables came from Ikea. Um, I found them in the as is department. I ha do have two of them and I have four sets of legs and two metal cabinets that go underneath in the center. I took you guys advice and just pared down to bring the bare minimum so I just brought one table just enough to fit just one sewing machine and one serger underneath the table you can see that they did bring a brother strong and tough I wanted that one to go to storage but it ended up here so I'm just gonna store it underneath the table until they get back home so let's talk about storage and I am so excited to share this with you guys because this is one of the main reasons why I'm really loving this setup you can see that I have the Ikea pegboards that were on my wall at home um, if you didn't see my my home sewing room setup it's amazing um, but I do I am going to be changing some things but you can go check that out right here I have a link to it right here my dream sewing space and I'll tell you what I'm going to change at the end but 
I have the pegboards attached to the metal cabinet. This metal cabinet came from um, Habitat for Humanity Restore. I got it for $14, amazing, because it's the Alpha brand. So at, I think, the container store, and they're expensive. So to find it for $14 was an absolute steal. And I brought just this one to hold up the end of the table and also to keep everything. They just wrapped it in plastic wrap and I was able to bring everything in it. It has all my needles and everything like that in it. And so at the last minute, I had left these at the house because they were attached to the wall and I figured, ah, they won't hurt anything being attached to the wall. But I thought to myself, where am I gonna put all of this stuff that was attached to the wall? So I ran over to the house, grabbed it, went to the family dollar, got some zip ties and attached it just simply to the metal cabinet. And they are really sturdy, they're not going anywhere. And so I have all of my surgery thread here right in front of the serger. And then on the side here, all my tools, um, pins, needles, paintbrushes, and even a trash can. I didn't have a trash can um, super close to me before. I had one on the back of the table, but I think that this is gonna be even more convenient to have it right on the side here. And then on the table here, I have my sewing organizers. This is where I keep my scissors next to each sewing machine. I have one for each sewing machine. So this one is specifically for my serger because it holds my um, tweezers. And it has a magnet inside, it's sewn inside, it won't get lost. And it just attaches my tweezers, it came, it didn't even come off in transit. So that's super exciting. And then this one over here, once again, has my scissors in the front pocket. And it also has seam ripper and a turner, like a um, tube turner in there. So just little things that you need sitting right next to the sewing machine. And I also brought my rolling chair. This is the only chair I really had at my um, sewing station before because I can roll all over. There's all hard uh, floors here. I believe they're tile. They kind of look like wood, but they uh, feel like tile. And I really like them because they're kind of indestructible. I was really trying to be careful not to scratch anything, but I realized shortly after moving things around that they are very, very durable. So that's a like thought <laughs> for the future. But I brought this really low profile. It can slide underneath the table and it won't be in the way. And it can slide from both the sewing machine and my cutting table. So that's one another reason why I really, really like this. Going from the sewing table to the cutting table, like back to back like this, I think that that's a big plus. Behind me, you'll see I did bring one rack of clothes. This is my merch for Blueprint Signature. Um, so I did not want to back to go to storage just in case I get any orders. I have that here ready to go. There are a couple of items that are just from um, Blueprint DIY. The um, blazer with the lace and then my colored peacoat that I just did for the Michelle Obama video. Um, but the rest of these, all of my puff sleeve trench coats are for sale at blueprintsignature.com. So those are there ready to go. Next up, let's talk about my cutting table, which is also where I record my top down shots. Um, this was very important. I fought tooth and nail to stop having to shoot top down on sitting on the floor, which is what I did for many years. Um, so I definitely want to bring this with me. And I absolutely love kind of having it in the middle of the room where I can walk on both sides. Like that is a dream come true for me. This is basically just a photography stand you just it's really cheap and it has like the fabric almost curtain like things that you can use as a backdrop for photography and videography green screen stuff like that and so it goes over the table and then it has these three clamps that hook to it and they have screws on the end of them and they hold these lights I will link the lights in the description box if you're interested and they are battery operated so I don't have to worry about cords where cords are going to in the middle I have another clamp which holds my camera. Down below the table, I have my plastic bin um, storage. I've had this for as long as I've had a sewing room, way back when I just took over the dining room. Um, I bought this from a Goodwill or some type of thrift store for like $15 or something like that. I don't know, but it has gone with me 
through a lot. I labeled it a long time ago, have pretty much kept the same things in there and it just travels with me. It works really well to hold things inside and on top. So that's why I continue to hold on to it. On the side here, you can see I added some hooks. I didn't have this in my old space um, because it was right up next to the other tables. But I bought these hooks to go for something else at the house. They work with walls. I'll put the link in the description box as well. Got them on Amazon and they work really, real well. They hold really, real well. And not only do they hold well, but they hold as soon as you stick them on. And so, yeah, I absolutely love this. And this is a pretty hard plastic, so I'm really not worried about once I go back to my house, taking them off and ruining the table. Um, right here, I have my small um, ironing board or, or ham. Um, it works the same as an ironing ham. Um, my curved ruler, some scissors um, for the actual cutting table because I didn't really have, I didn't want to have to walk all the way to the other stores. I know, I'm so lazy. But I didn't want to have to walk all the way to the other stores in order to get the things that were specifically for the cutting table. And so, yeah. I put them over here and I could probably put a couple of other things over here like some pins um, Although I could stick them in this thing as well This is my fabric weight and I also have a pin cushion on the front of it So I could put them there as well. All right, so next up behind the cutting table I have of course a trash can always need a trash can um, For paper just the smallest scraps they'll go in there and then I have uh, the table This table used to hold my silhouette cutter cameo 4 um, cutter but I didn't have enough room for it next to the computer and so I definitely needed the things that I store in it as well so I put it back here it's perfect back here I have these little jars that came over from the house that didn't necessarily need those but they're here so I decided to put them over here and in this little green book here it holds all of my sewing machine instructions instruction booklets and some accessories and I absolutely needed those so I wasn't sure if those made it over but they did make it and I'm so grateful and then I have my iron and my steamer here and then underneath are some bins for um, elastic ribbon different things like that um, little snaps and closures and stuff like that and then underneath I have all of my miscellaneous camera supplies so definitely all of this is needed in order for us to keep going making amazing upcycles all right so right here is where I actually put my computer this computer is mostly used to just do random things because I also have a laptop but it also operates my silhouette cameo and so I definitely want to give you guys a tutorial on that pretty soon so I definitely want to bring it and everything that I need in order to do it so it fits right along this wall really well and flush this um old countertop I just wrapped it with I uh, just uh granite looking or marble looking contact paper um just to make a makeshift desk and so it traveled really well it's really light um so yeah it works for that and it is the same width as this i think about 14 or 15 inches so it's really really slim and for a computer that's not used a whole heck of a lot i'm super glad that i was able to get it like just really slim and fit along this wall with my printer which i do use on a semi-regular basis as well as my file cabinet and all that like I said they told us to bring everything that's important to us tax time is coming so yes we absolutely need files and stuff like that and then right here in the middle I just have just a little green you know I am horrible like my thumb is not green it's black so of course that's fake but it also has underneath it um, my light wash jeans that is the only thing the only thing that I brought from my home thrift store my stash my thrift stash and so with this we're probably gonna be making some runs to the thrift store so I hope you guys are excited about that to see some of the things that will get just specifically for pro on a project by project basis that's my plan um, I do not want to thrift in general just like I used to um, while we're in this transition I'm going to go on a project by project basis and see what we get so that may give us a whole lot of ugly thrift transformations and stuff like that which you guys absolutely love so if you want me to do that then definitely let me know that in the comments all right so that was the sewing space but you might be asking Angelina how how did you get that much space 
for sewing, like just for sewing. Okay, so this is what I did and this is what you might be able to do. It all depends on your situation, you know? Um, I purposely got a two bedroom apartment, of course, you know, because of me and the kids, but I looked for one with a living space, a living room space and a small dining room space um, that I would be able to use as a living space. And so that's what I did. I made sure that it had one of those high counters. We already had stools. And so I said, hey, the kids can sit at the stools in order to eat their meals. I mean, like they like eating on the go anyway. So this was a compromise. So they sit at the stools to eat their meals. I already had a futon. I just brought the futon, no sofas, no no love seat. I put the futon in front of a dresser. I brought the dresser from my room because it holds my shoes and I knew I was gonna need my shoes but not necessarily the TV table and so the TV table went to storage. The shoe cabinet um, or dresser is actually holding the TV which is multi-purpose to the max and I'm so grateful for that and that area is the perfect size just for a little sitting area to watch TV and I was able to use the whole entire living room as a sewing room space. So yes, that's how I was able to do it. I, you guys know, wherever I go, I take up space. So, <laughs> so I don't know if you're in a situation, you know, honestly, when you live with other people, you guys know that I am a widow and I had started taking up space before my husband passed away, but definitely now that it's just me, um, I take up space. So. Yes, I'm taking up the whole living room space at my own house. I take up the living room, dining room, and a master closet for Blueprint DIY. Um, so yes, we're taking up space on this channel. Um, but yes, that's how I was able to do this. And it flows, the flow is so good. Like I, that that's what I was saying about, there are definitely some things, like there's nothing on the walls. And this space looks so good, like so good. And so I'm questioning myself, like in the old space, like what was wrong with it? Like what wasn't right? Because I love my old space, but there's definitely some things about this space. And I think what it is, is that it's pared down to the bare minimum of what I actually need. And there's still a lot, there's still a ton of stuff in this space, but it's pared down to the bare minimum of what I actually need in order to do what I need to do. And I think I'm loving that. Like, I think I'm really digging this. And the other thing that I think I really, really enjoy, like I said before, is having that um, standing table, the cutting table in the middle of the floor where I can go all the way around it and having it back to back with the, versus side to side, back to back with my um, sewing machine. So I am going to live in this space for a while, like I said, three months, see how I like it. And then once I get back to my own home, you guys will be able to see how I transform that space into the ultimate of what I actually want. Because I think that there's quite a bit, there was quite a bit that, you know, honestly, I think that in our houses, we hold on to things because we have them. And especially as upcyclers, we are not, going to throw away just random things, you know. We are careful about throwing away, period. And then also, we also like to reuse things. Like we love to reuse things. Like, so when I set up that space, my original sewing room, I didn't really buy too much new. Like I got two new tables, but that was about it. Everything else was from what I had, but I'm now realizing some of what I had should have really just been donated and it would have made the space so much um, more functional, so much better. And so I'm hoping that I can take some of these lessons back with me over to the house and just create a space that is gonna be optimally um, efficient to do you know, to do our videos, to do Blueprint DIY. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, have absolutely enjoyed this. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I know we were gone for two weeks. I thought I would only need one. I don't know why I did, but um, I thank you guys for your support, for your suggestions. Um, I took as many of them as possible. Like I said, I didn't bring, um, or I tried not to bring a whole lot of stuff, had everything planned out where I wanted everything. And it was just, it made everything so much better. It was stressful, but it made everything 
as least stressful as possible. And so I'm so grateful for you guys. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now let's get back to upcycling. <laughs> if you have any suggestion for renters, things, if you're a renter and there's things that you do in your own sewing space, whether you have a very tiny space and you have some suggestions or tips, or whether you have a larger space like this and you have tips, leave them in the comments below. That's gonna help our community overall. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing because we're moving and shaking and we have next top upcycling coming up and I'm so excited for it. If you don't know what it is, you will in a minute if you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I have other videos over here for you to watch right now. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.